AP Physics 1 is the equivalent to the first semester of college algebra-based physics courses. Physics 1 requires the prerequisite of pre-AP geometry or on-level geometry and a co-requisite of pre-AP or on-level algebra 2. This course covers various topics that rely on extensive understanding of ideas covered in those classes such as trigonometry and basic algebra skills. What topics does this course cover and what should students know coming into it? So AP Physics 1 is going to be a must-have for any student that's continuing on in advanced science. Um, it covers just the basic mechanics, so the way objects move, the way objects interact on kind of a normal human-sized scale, uh, pretty much the, the world that we see in day-to-day -day life. Um, it also includes topics on electricity and waves. They're very minor, but no first-year physics course would be complete without including those topics. This course leads to a better understanding of real-world relationships and interactions between objects and allows students to model such relationships and analyze them. How does this course prepare you for the future? Okay, so personally, I'm thinking about going into a STEM field, probably engineering, maybe computer science, something like that. And so this course is perfect for anyone who wants to go into this field as well. And it teaches you valuable lessons like kinematics, energy, forces, and things like that. So it's a really good introductory course to anyone who wants to go into the STEM field. How does this course help you in the future? Um, I suppose if I ever wanted to go into math, um, then I would physics would be very helpful to me. And it's also helpful to start thinking about these conceptual concepts that are applied every day in daily life. This course requires a higher understanding of mathematical concepts of trigonometry and algebra, as most problems deal with angles, such as kinematics and projectile motion problems. This course should not be taken unless you have a thorough understanding of mathematical concepts and theories taught in the prerequisite and co-requisite courses, as well as the capability to keep up in the fast-paced class. How hard is this course and who should take it? Well, AP Physics 1 is going to be necessary if you're going into any science related field, even if you're not, it's a really good um, building block for logical thinking and just making good logical arguments based on facts and reasoning. Um, so AP Physics 1 requires you to be concurrently enrolled in Algebra 2. Um, we like for y'all to be in Pre-Cal as well, but it's really okay if you're not. Um, this course is fairly conceptual. The most advanced math that we'll do is manipulating quadratic equations, but it would be good for you to be proficient with that. How hard is this course and who should take it? Personally, a lot of people think it's very difficult, but I think it's not that bad, especially if you work hard and you understand the concepts in class. And it's for anyone who wants to go into a STEM-related field or major, and this is a really good introductory course to help you learn the fundamentals of physics or whatever you want to go into. How hard is this course and who should take it? Uh, this course is very difficult for me. It's one of the most challenging courses that I think I've ever taken. And, but I think it's, um, it's a good challenge and physics is a very interesting class and I learned a lot of new concepts. So I'd say if science interests you or if you feel that you're ready for the challenge, then you should take it. How does this course help you in the future? Um, I suppose if I ever wanted to go into math, um, then I would physics would be very helpful to me and it's also helpful to start thinking about these conceptual concepts that are applied every day in daily life. This course, despite its level of difficulty, is very beneficial as it is applicable in various career paths and college majors, such as applied and theoretical sciences, computer engineering, and medical majors.